What do you think is the, the impact that universities are having on the global economy? How is this changing? The impact is huge on two dimensions. One dimension is the one that most obviously everybody knows. We form, we educate the next generation of prime movers, of people who move the whole system, the economic and those intellectual systems. Uh, the second one is, of course, we produce new knowledge and we translate that new knowledge into reality, either by working together with corporations or by creating our own spin-off companies that then take on this knowledge. Your second question was, how do you measure that? How, do you, how, how has it changed over time? It's very, very difficult to completely, precisely assess these uh, effects, of course. It has changed, in my opinion, I'm 60 years old, as a, the industry has taken itself out of the very basic research process. You remember in the good old days after World War II, Bell Labs or uh, Xerox Park, industry was able and willing to invest large amount of money and those intellectual capacity into basic research, not oriented research. This has, I would say, almost completely vanished, with a few exceptions. So what has happened now that industry is away from basic science, so industry, uh, universities pardon me, have to step in even more into that field. And this is becoming more and more difficult, of course, because this needs money and governments are under a lot of pressure to provide the sufficient resources for this very expensive first step. So it's, a, it, it's kind of a difficult situation, industry pulling out and governments not being willing and ready to step in. We'll have to make the ends meet by being more efficient and more creative. What is the biggest challenge for you, looking to the future? Looking to the future is really financing. How can Basic research becomes more and more expensive, of course. It is more complicated, it touches more difficult subjects, it becomes more interdisciplinary, so it requires more and more resources. And re accept, uh, receiving these resources from governmental sources is becoming more and more difficult. Governments are under a lot of pressure, health, social systems, everybody wants to have more resources. And so education and research is under a lot of pressure. This is a key, key problem. There is a second problem that I want to mention, this is more recent. Uh, the very big ones in the tech sector, you know, the usual gaffes, huh? they have now piled up so much financial reserves, cash reserves, that you see more and more uh, tendencies of uh, these big tech companies to poach talent directly from universities being it on the faculty level, which is sort of okay, but also more so down the, the grade, more and more down, so that they hire students before they really finish their degrees. And there a problem might arise, not on the immediate future, but on the medium to longer term. What's the impact of the big companies, Microsoft, IBM, pharmaceutical giants, GSK, and Pfizer, and Google? Is there a dominance in the relationship with the, senior, you know, the top universities in the world with those key players. Is that troubling or is that a good thing? I think that the top universities are very well of this danger and do everything they can to avoid this threat. So it cannot be that a good university becomes um, uh, too much dependent on a big corporation. Let's phrase it this way. I'm not sure if small universities can avoid this threat. That the danger might be there. But I would say the top 50 universities are aware of that danger and they try and they succeed to stay away from a dominant relationship with the big corporations. But pressure is there, particularly pressure in the talent of war, that of course the very scarce resource, human brains, excellent human brains, for this scarce resource the competition becomes fiercer and uh, we sometimes, or more often than we like, lose now this competition uh, when we are fighting against these big company, comp corporations. One, what do you want um, people that are coming to your pavilion as Davos to take away and remember about your, your university? ETH is among the top universities of the world. We define ourselves as a university that serves the local community, but is connected to the world and brings in the world knowledge to this metropolitan area with which we are connected. The key message I want people to take away is that ETA is a reliable university that makes promises and keeps these promises on a very high level.